Hi people, welcome to the Cowbridge Kitchen. We're here exclusively to show you guys how to cook like a pro. Okay, going to show you some tips, going to show you some tricks and a few little nifty workarounds so that you get it right first time, every time. Okay, so what we're going to make uh, here in this video is a lasagna um, and we're going to make that with the bolognese that we've made in a previous video. Okay, so if you want to see to make the bolognese and um, then you're going to watch, watch the previous video on um, my basic bolognese. Um, we're going to use that today and we're going to um, get that together, transform some of that now into a lasagna, okay? So um, we'll start off by making um, a bechamel sauce, which is, the, you know, obviously the cover that, that the sauce goes on top of lasagna. So I'll show you how to make the bechamel and then we'll um, get all the um, sections of that lasagna into place and get it in the oven. Really quick, really quick to do. Okay, so uh, bechamel sauce, pretty simple to do, okay? We're gonna use um, um, some milk, we're gonna make it with milk, right? We're gonna want around about half a pint, three quarters of a pint of milk uh, in there, okay? Go with three quarters of a pint. Better to have a little bit too much um, than not enough. And we are going to basically um, put this milk into the microwave. You don't want to overboil it, um, over overcook it in the microwave, obviously, because it'll make a bit of a mess. So we're just going to give it, um, give it about four minutes or so, and let that just go in the microwave. Keep a little eye on it. Check it every every uh, minute or so. You just want it. You don't want it boiling. You want to get that um, hot. That's all. You just need it hot. Okay. So we'll leave that in the microwave. And we'll get on with the rest of the sauce. So for the rest of the sauce, we're going to make um, what's what's called a roux, um, which is basically just a, a, a sauce base. You're going to need, because this bechamel sauce has to be quite, it's not going to be too thick, but it's not going to be too runny either. We're going to use quite a generous amount of butter, okay? I'm going to pop that into the pan, and we're going to get that melting down, um, and then we'll add some flour to that to make up our room. Okay, so as you can see, um, our butter has now melted pretty much into our pan. Don't forget about your milk at this stage, okay? So uh, just double check on that to make sure that that's not boiled over, okay? So that's still doing okay. What we're going to do now is add some flour, plain flour, to this uh, this roux. One, two, three good teaspoons, okay, um, to start with. We'll mix that in now and what we need is to get this into a nice thick paste, okay. Um, there we are, I think we can, we can see where that's going, okay. I'd still prefer it slightly thicker than that, so I'm going to add another half a teaspoon into um, into into my butter. I can get half a teaspoon. There we are. Half a teaspoon into my butter. There we are. Mix that up and literally leave that cook now on the stove, not for too long. Um, you don't really want it changing colour. So we we'll leave that cook. We we'll just go and check on the milk. Okay, our milk is now quite warm. Okay, it's not boiling, but it's warm. What we we'll do? Just pop the heat up onto this this roux and then slowly add the milk. Okay. Um, what you'll find is that as you add the milk, keep stirring, keep stirring, and it'll thicken. Okay, it will thicken. And keep adding the milk. We need to get this now boiling on the stove, okay? There we are, add your milk. I've added probably two thirds now of this milk. We've got a, a nice thickish sauce there. Gonna have mine a little tiny bit thicker. A little bit thinner, rather. Okay, leave that cook now for a little while. As you can see, I'll get a spoon um, and we can show you the consistency. Okay, so we've got that kind of a consistency at the moment. I mean, for me, probably still a little bit too thick, so I'm just going to throw the remainder of that milk in there. Um, it literally does depend on on how thick you made your initial roux. Okay, but there we are, that's going along quite nice. We're gonna leave that cook um, for a little while and then we'll get back and we'll have a little look at the next stage. Okay, so bechamel sauce is um, is cooking now. Well, I've just kind of just taken it off the heat a little bit now and that's uh, simmering away quite nicely over there. Some people aren't huge fans of a plain bechamel sauce. Um, I'm included, I'm not a huge fan of, of that kind of a sauce on my lasagna. So I'm gonna make it into a a more of a cheese sauce, to be honest with you. Um, well, in fact, literally a cheese sauce. And what we're going to do? Um, we're going to grate a little bit of cheese into this into this um, container, and I'm going to add cheese. Yep, I'm going to add cheese to my um, lasagna sauce, uh, my bechamel sauce, because 
it just adds a little bit of flavor not a huge amount not a huge amount just a a modest amount if you like okay so there we are we're going to add this cheese now to our bechamel sauce make it into a cheese sauce and that's going to be our topping for our lasagna okay so there we are as you can see our um, bechamel is pretty decent pretty decent sauce it's quite thick um, but, uh, and adding the cheese on, on top of that now is going to thicken it up even further but it's just going to add uh, for me you know it's just going to add that bit of flavor that i love that i love on a lasagna and at the end of the day you know you're making this uh you're making this food for yourself for your own taste if you don't want to add cheese to it don't add cheese to it if you want to use cream instead of milk use cream instead of milk um you know be a little bit uh, experimental with it and that is probably just about where we want it okay bechamel's done we're going to move on now and we're going to construct the um, lasagna and then um, get our pasta sheets going Okay, so at this stage, um, what we could be doing is we could be making some pasta um, with eggs and flour. I'm not going to make my own pasta, I can tell you now. Um, I, I, I will make my own pasta, um, and I'll do a video on it, okay? But for today's purposes, I'm going to use pasta sheets, um, Italian um, lasagna pasta sheets. All right, what we need over here, and um, we've got a pan on the stove here with some hot water in it, okay? I'm going to hold a lot of hot water in it, and what I'm going to do with it is just put a splash of olive oil. And that will help stop those pasta sheets when I put them in there, because I'm going to part cook them, um, just to make the whole cooking process in the oven better. Guarantee they're going to be soft in your lasagna. You're not going to get crunchy pasta then. Um, so we're going to part cook the pasta in this water. So once this water is boiling, um, we will work out how much pasta sheets we need, the size of the lasagna, and we get that underway. Okay, so we've decided on the size of the uh, lasagna we're going to make. We're going to make this into um, in a in a never proof bowl. Okay, it's my hand. That's how big the bowl is. It's not a huge uh, huge amount of lasagna. Um, I've worked. I'm going to have three layers of pasta um, on the lasagna. Um, so we're going to need three sheets per layer. So by that rationale, I believe that is nine sheets of pasta, okay? Um, and we're going to use this, like I said, this uncooked pasta. You, but we're going to have to cut it to fit in here. So we don't want to be cutting that while it's hard, it's just going to crack, which is another reason why I am going to cook it first in this pan. Okay, so into the pan. Um, get ourselves a, a fork, okay? This water is pretty hot now. Hot now. Um, what we're going to do is going to put each pasta sheet in one at a time. Pop that in. Pop that in, pop that one in. Okay, so hopefully now that oil is going to stop them from sticking together. Get another one in on top of that, so on, so forth. So there's our six, seven, eight, and nine pasta sheets uh, in that oily uh, uh, water. Okay, going to leave that cook <clears throat> um, for a little while now. Um, once those sheets have started to soften, only to the point where you can cut them with a knife and they're not going to crack, they're going to be done. Okay, and then we'll turn the heat down in this pan, we'll get back over onto our chopping board and we'll start getting this pasta um, and uh, this, this, this pasta, minced beef and lasagna, get it all together. Okay, so we'll leave that. Okay, so our pasta has now been cooking in this pan um, about 10 minutes, I suppose. Okay, so we can take each individual sheet out now. There we are, we have, and they're not really stuck together because of the olive oil. So get a pair of tongs, get yourself a couple of sheets out. Well, what we'll do is we get our three sheets out now. There we are, three sheets. And as you can see, you know, they're bendy. Okay, so they're cooked, they're cooked enough. What we're gonna do now is gonna fit these sheets into this pasta bowl. So the first one, yeah, that's gonna go in quite nicely there. Okay, we know the gap, okay? Judge the gap, cut the pasta to fit. There we are, cut so easy, doesn't break. There's a top tip there for you. Um, with this one now, measure the size. Doesn't break, okay? And our pasta sheets then line the bottom of our dish beautifully. Okay, with the spare pasta, I mean, shot it away. It's no good to anybody. Okay, what we've got now is our bolognese um, that we made up in a previous video. So if you want to see how to make this bolognese to go in this pasta, then um, 
get on my YouTube channel and, and, and take a look. Or, you know, obviously if you make your own bolognese, then you can use that. Okay, <clears throat> what we do, I'm gonna take a ladle now, I'm gonna put the first layer of bolognese oh, into that, onto that pasta there. And you don't want it too thick, just enough to cover the pasta. There we go, spread it around nicely. And then that, and that, our bolognese mix. So what we'll do then, we'll do another layer of uh, pasta, the same as we just did that first one, another layer of bolognese, then another layer of pasta, and then I'll show you um, putting the bechamel sauce on. Okay, so as we can see now, um, we've put um, our second layer of pasta, next layer of bolognese. You don't saturate it with bolognese, just, a, just enough, okay? And you wanna leave yourself a good sort of half an inch to an inch um, of the, the top of the dish left to stick your bechamel on, okay? So we've got our two layers of pasta, or three layers of pasta, two layers of bolognese on there. Uh, right, okay, what we're gonna do now, we are going to get ourselves a serving spoon. Be generous with this, okay? Get this covered. I mean, use it all if you can. Okay, this is just gonna add all of, and you can see it's sort of, it's just thin enough to run, but not too thick enough to be a, a really, really runny liquid, okay? We wanna try and get all the corners covered, okay? So be generous, like I say, with it. Get it on there. Get it. Covered. That is going to be absolutely delicious. It already smells good, um, and I haven't cooked it yet properly. So it's going to go in the <coughs> excuse me. It's going to go in the oven now. Okay, that's looking pretty delicious. I've got a preheated oven to about 180. We'll whack that in there. Um, give it about half an hour to 35 minutes, and that is going to be fantastic. Can't wait to see it.